What better way to spend a Saturday than building your rack? I bought a SysRack. That's right, I bought a 12U rack made by the company SysRack. Unboxed it, laid it all out, and now hours of fun. And all I got was this one piece of paper. Hi, and welcome to my Build a Lab. So this is a, a few part series on uh, building my home lab. And today's uh, video, I'm gonna talk about building my rack. So I bought a SysRack 12U 24 inch depth wall mount rack from, again, SysRack. And uh, I'll uh, show you what it looks like and the sturdiness, the build, some of the gotchas that I found, I also replaced the stock fan, so I'll show you that, give you a comparison of the fan before and after. As I mentioned before, I bought a 12U 24 inch depth wall mounted enclosure. This is 19 inch wide. The kit comes with a few accessories, including one cooling fan at the top, which I changed as you'll see later, a PDU for power, two shelves, as well as the front door that's made out of glass. The rack does come with four adjustable feet, which I opted to upgrade with the casters so I can move it around. It does as well come with locks on side and front panel with keys. It actually come with six keys, which was kind of odd. You have the U marking on the mounting rails, front and back, as well as a bag of nuts. Low capacity is 133 pounds. Although I have to say that when I mounted my UPS, which was 21 pounds, I started seeing some give in the uh, poles. So I actually opted to mount it on a shelf instead. Could have gotten the rails, but I had the shelves and I just wanted to make good use of them. So how big is this thing? The rack obviously is 12U, as I mentioned before. So that's about 635 millimeters. That is 25 inches as well as 24 inch deep and width of 24 inches. The rack will come with a one pager. That's right, a one pager. I have to say that the one pager was not enough to uh, figure out how to put this thing together. Probably spent a little bit more time than I should have. Alternative to the PDF is this video. It actually does help out because they show how things are assembled uh, and where the pieces fit together. And here is the final product going from top to bottom, as you saw the airbrush vents to pass the wires from the top, as well as the air vents for the fan the, to facilitate airflow. You have the glass panel in the front that is lockable, as well as the shelf that you can see through the glass and the casters that I changed. Following to the sides, you have the side panel, which is again lockable with the clips to open the panel. Flipping into the rack, you will see the access to the equipment can be uh, can be done through the side, as well as the mounted PDU that I put at the bottom. But again, this you could put pretty much anywhere you want that you find more practical. Opening up the case with the panels out, you will see the four posts that you can use to mount the shelves as well as your equipment. Flipping it on the side, now you see where the fan was mounted. So this is where I upgraded to the Noctua fan. The Noctua fan that I purchased was the NF F12 5 volts. I picked this model because it is USB powered and I thought it would be much easier than trying to attach a 5 volt DC and wire it to the uh, to the PDU. The Noctua fan is a 120, 120 millimeters uh, with a RPM of 1900. Now let's go into sound comparison. First stock fan now the knock to a fan You can definitely tell the difference. Noctua fan is noticeably quieter. So it's been two days, a lot of cuts and bruises, 
some swearing if I must say, but I got this thing put together. Uh, you saw my walkthrough of the shelves, the uh, the rack, the build, and uh, I'm gonna give you some pros and cons about uh, about the rack now that I uh, have it up and running for a few days. So start with the pros. The uh, the biggest pro I would say is the price. Uh, that's what I was going for at the beginning when I was looking for a rack. I didn't want to spend too much money because I wanted to really focus on the equipment instead of the uh, the rack that where it goes into. So for the price, I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the final outcome. Second thing, it does come with a bunch of accessories. It comes with two shelves, which again, I've used because of the, um, the UPS that was sold heavy that I actually ended up putting on the shelf. So that came in handy. It comes with all the screws, and honestly, it looks good. The front has that red strip on the uh, on the front next to the glass. The whole thing looks looks really good, and even my wife approved. So, two thumbs up on that one. The second thing is because it's all enclosed, the noise coming out of the the rack is pretty low. Uh, again, caveat to that is I have to change the fan. But all in all, I found that the the noise was well contained inside the casings. The uh, this is in my office, so I wanted to keep the noise level as as low as I could. And all in all, I think I think it does its job. And again, back to the accessories. The thing comes with a PDU, so these are normally the kind of things you'd have to buy separate. All of that comes with the the rack at that low price. Now, some of the cons. Again, I did find that the uh, the post mounting post uh, did feel that it could have been a little bit of thicker steel. Because of that. Couldn't mount my uh, my UPS using the rack gears. That was kind of disappointing because I would have used the shelf for something else. Doesn't matter. Anyways, so yeah, I could have think that the uh, the steel could have been thicker for the mounting. Other than that, the airflow, you know, you have to give and take. So either it's quiet, all enclosed, or you have better airflow with more mesh. So I find that the airflow is okay. The temperature stays in my rack fairly cool. So uh, I will try to see if I can get the measure measure the temperature inside the rack and uh, I'll post it at the same time. So other than the airflow, you don't have a removable back. So the back panel is fixed. You have four uh, four screws that you have to remove every time you want to access the back, which can get annoying if you keep on adding or, or removing items in your rack because you have to access to the plugs and everything that's in the back. Again, it takes two seconds to remove the screws, but nothing comes with the the ease of having the two the two clips that you can just push and it comes off. These, the last thing is the fan. So you have to take that in consideration. If you wanna have a, a quiet operating rack, you gotta take into account the expense of the fan. Um, so that, and obviously the casters, but that was a personal choice because I wanted to be able to move my rack around. So the casters were a $20 option. So final, I have to say that for the price that I got, uh, I think it's a great rack. You, I have my approval. I'm pretty happy with it. I. In hindsight, I, I wish I would have gone with the 18U because this thing is already full. Um, I've gone ahead and racked the whole thing already. I got too excited. Uh, so I will give you a tour actually. So if you stay, stay till the end, I'll show you what it looks like racked. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative as well. Please plus like if you if you thought that uh, it, was it was informative and subscribe to my channels to see the ex upcoming videos in my Build a Lab series. Also, don't forget to press the subscribe so you notify when I post my next video. I will be posting the next video on a review of the 24 patch panel that I purchased by WireX. And again, thank you very much.